What? Let's go, Ikuzo. People wanted this for a while. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I am here today with the final SCR reveal for Cross Spirits. This is the most hype SCR I've seen since I've been a part of the Dragon Ball Super Card game, and it is my honor to be revealing this SCR to you guys today. I believe this is going to be the most collectible SCR ever made in the Dragon Ball Super Card game, and I am here with my boy Evan U7. Evan has not seen the art. I have seen the art. I know what the card does. I'm gonna surprise him with what the card is. The last secret rare to be revealed for Cross Spirits coming out in August. And this is Hype Hype Hype. So here we go, here's Evan. What's up y'all? Evan U7 here and, oh, right, let's do this. Before we reveal this secret rare, I gotta tell you guys a little story about how Evan and I met. I don't know if y'all are part of the DBS discussion group, but if you look at the most used hashtags, Goku is my best friend is like number two. And there's like hundreds of hashtags of Goku is my best friend. Now, I think it must have been like a year, year and a half ago, maybe. Yeah. I started seeing this hashtag coming up all the time and I was like, who is this guy? Goku is my best friend. So I hit Evan up and I was like, look, buddy, I know you might think that Goku is your best friend, but I got news for you, man. Goku's actually my best friend. So it, we were just kind of joking about things and we ended up kind of chatting with each other and we we're like, yo, you know what we should do? We should make an internet beef where we both beef with each other that we each think that we're better friends with Goku than the other one. So we did this little beef where we each kind of compete. We competed about, oh, Goku's my best friend. Goku's your my best friend. But then at the end, we realized that we're actually each other's best friends because we're both Goku's best friends, which is kind of symbolic of what's going on in this card. With that in mind, this this card really symbolizes, I think, a lot about our friendship, a lot about the Dragon Ball story. And I think this is going to be the most collectible secret rare ever made in this game because this is kind of the ultimate moment of Dragon Ball Super. You know, we know Awakened Power is like the one that everybody wants. And that's kind of the strongest move of Goku, UI Goku in DBS, but this is, to me, this is the ultimate moment of Dragon Ball Super. So I am so honored to be sharing it with you and I'm gonna send it over to you right now through the internet. Just gotta dial it up and uh, here it is, my guy. Wait, it was coming, I'm getting it. It's coming, I heard, I heard it go sin. Yo, this is this is the moment. I mean, this is the moment that I feel like our friendship parallels because this is like Goku and Frieza, right? Like they're enemies Bro. for the entirety of Dragon Ball. And in one moment, they have to get back to back so they can take down Jiren. The card basically for you guys that see the card, it's a it becomes a five drop. So it's an eight energy card that the cost gets reduced. You have to pay five for it. But when the card comes in, it's basically a dual attack. And then the last damage you burn off your opponent. So it's really cool because it's like two really big swings, right? Like you're committing to two really big swings. It's like Goku and Frieza are both swinging and then Android 17 burns off that, that last life. It's so good looking. We, we're getting support from the starter deck for U7. So this means we're gonna be, we're likely gonna be seeing the red archetype as U7, which is probably gonna be announced earlier this week. So we're making this video beforehand and we're gonna be putting it out at the end of the week. But it's likely that we're gonna see red support for U7. And if this is the secret rare for red U7 stuff, like, Dude, I am playing red. I'm going red all the way. And the fact that we're gonna have access to King Vegeta's imposing presence and violent rays, like red is about to get so strong if the U7 support is good. And this isn't like, this isn't a meta breaking secret rare, you know, like the other secret rares that we saw, they're they're really, really good. And they're gonna have a lot of versatility in, in the colors that they play in. But this secret rare, I feel like is gonna be specific to a red game finisher, which is cool. It's cool to see something like that, right? Like this way you have to go to turn five with red, right? I feel like Gohanks was kind of, 
of pushing that a little bit. It was like, you know, you don't necessarily want to use it on four. You can use it on four, but if you use it at five, it's really strong, right? So this, this is saying like red is going to five and red isn't just going to be aggro, but there's going to be aggro elements that you can learn how to play control around, which is really fun for me because I love playing control. I love going to mid range. And if red was a color that was able to do that, I know I would be playing red more often. And I think with the cards that are accessible now, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited to see what comes up for red. And I am super, super psyched for this card. I mean, the art is just so beautiful, man. So for those of you that are watching, let's, uh, let's just read the card. Out. So this is an ultimate, which means it's a secret rare. It has dual attack, which means the card can swing twice. The permanent is you can't play this card from any area using skills unless you have five or more mono red energy. And if you do, you reduce the cost by three, meaning you have to be at five energy and then the card will cost five energy and you can play the card. This card can't be removed from your battle area by your opponent's skill. So this means that the card just stays in the battle area. They can't warp it. They can't get rid of it. They can't blow it up with a card skill or something like that. Um, and during battles in which this card attacked, you can't use cards in your hand to combo and your opponent can't activate counter or blocker skills. So in a way, it kind of speaks like awakened power the way that awakened power can't be countered so this card can't be countered it can't be blocked the only thing that this card is going to struggle with is something like the crusher ball counter play or the cards that are going to bring this card into rest mode when it gets played that's going to be a big problem for this card. It's together you know so we all get to see this but dude this are, is true, man. the for fact sure. that ban i said you guys reveal goku like this is definitely a dbs historical it shows that they're paying attention it shows that bandai is paying attention bandai cares about the community they, care a they want what's best for the community and they're giving us opportunities to promote the game within itself for us to connect with each other to create a community with each other thank you bandai. So i want to give a huge thank you to bandai bandai thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. This is such an amazing opportunity. This is like, I mean, my dreams are made of this, but I don't just want this for myself. I really do want to share this with everybody that's watching, with everybody that supports the channel, with everybody that supports the game. Um, it's just, it's so cool to oh, be able man. to do this and Evan to be able to do this with you. is like, I, oh, somebody told you, me this was happening about a year ago. Years ago like, yeah, you're, no way. There's no the, way that's the happening. The decks from uh, the like, locals and stuff, you would have told me that. To this, it's just a still a mind blowing thing. Like. That, it's, it's crazy. It's pretty wow. surreal, man. Wow. It's pretty surreal. What? So my my hope is that we can continue bringing this game up, continue bringing the community up, continue getting people excited, you That's know, continue secret. just putting positive energy into this because Bro. all of us lending Bandai our energy and our excitement around this is this is what's making the game take off. And it's only a matter I, of time before like, this is the most popular I, card game in the world. It. I feel strongly it. about it. It's just, it's a, such a better game. Card. It's just I'm better than any other card, card game. I'm going down. to pull that card. If I got to buy a single, <laughs> if I got to get a single, I will. I'm going to get that card. I'm going to get it. <laughs> yeah, that, that card, that card is going to be the ultimate collector's item for this game. Uh, anyway, guys, I want to say thanks to everybody for coming and watching this reveal. I hope you all are excited as we are. We're clearly pretty stoked about this card. We both love Goku a lot, and it's cool. It's so cool to see Goku and Frieza team up. I mean, what a what a moment. It was just like life-changing, life-changing stuff. If this is your first time here and you want to see exciting videos like this every week, make sure to hit that subscription button. Uh, if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, I mean, I'm just glad. Bruh, let's go. You guys are amazed as I am. I know, and To be doing life. this with Evan is so Bruh, cool. This is crazy. It's so cool. <laughs> it's so crazy. How are we even doing this? <laughs> How am I here? Dude. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right. Wow. <laughs> Spirit Boosters. I hope you all are excited for Cross Spirit Set 5 of the Unison Warrior Block Cross Spirit. Spirit Boost is coming in your show. Let's go, Ikuzo. Evan, you seven. Thanks Bye. for joining me, bro. This has been real. This has been real as heck, man. Bye.